Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be installing the Ultimate Clutch Pedal on my M3 and it's hopefully going to improve the feel and engagement over the OEM one you see here. Now there's a few issues I'm looking to resolve. First off, as you can see, the stock clutch pedal is higher than the brake and even though it doesn't look like much, it's not a natural resting position for the foot. The other issue is the pedal is extremely light. My previous car was an E36 and the pedal was much heavier which gave you more control because of the resistance. And another thing is the pedal feels really springy and non-linear. What I mean by that is the resistance level during the first half of the travel feels different than the second half. And last but not least, this is probably the biggest issue personally for me, and that is the catch point is extremely high. You have to lift up over two thirds of the way before the clutch starts engaging. And I found this really annoying because it leaves room for making inconsistent shifts. So we're going to find out if the UCP pedal that I'm going to install is going to resolve these issues. First, let's check out what's included with the ultimate clutch pedal. So we got an instruction booklet, which looks really detailed. That's going to be helpful. And here's the clutch pedal. It also comes with a clutch stop and a T20 torx wrench and an extra E-clip. So let's get started with the installation. Our first step is to remove three screws here with a provided T20 torx wrench. Alright, so there's supposed to be three connections here. So starting from the right. Pop that one out. This one. Oh, that's pretty easy to remove. Okay. Release this one. I just read the instructions again and it said it might be easier to just remove this entire module out. So you guys can get a better look right here. This is the Bluetooth module on the very left side of the panel. The instructions said it's probably easier just to remove the entire module uh, and it's held in by two plastic clips. Uh, one clip up here and one down here. So you just gotta bend it back and pop it off. So next step is to remove the plastic push pin which attaches the clutch arm to the clutch master cylinder. And to do that, you're gonna need a quarter inch extension. Um, you can use this end to push the plastic pin from the left side out to the right and it's a really tight fit up there it's a lot tighter than I originally imagined um, so it's gonna be kind of difficult to show that so initially I was trying to use my left hand but I couldn't get enough leverage to push it out so uh, I ended up laying on my back and using my right hand when using my left hand I depressed the clutch a little bit like this and my right hand while I lay on my back I pushed it out so that's just a little tip on how to remove this plastic push pin all right next we're gonna remove the lightweight return spring and it's on the very top right of the clutch pedal so you push down on it you can see it right up here get the camera to focus there you are this one right here. So we're gonna unhook that with a pick. Now for step five, we're gonna remove the over support spring by removing a C-clip right here with a screwdriver or a pick. Here's another look at it. This is what the clip looks like removed. It was really easy to get it out using a pick. Basically just insert a pick right here and just pull it out. Came out really easily. Alright, so now we're going to remove the final E-clip on the very top of the clutch pedal, which is the last clip that's going to let us remove the OEM clutch pedal. And it's all the way on the top left here. Let's see. Right there. 
All right, so this is what the E-clip looks like. Basically, sitting in a car like this, get a screwdriver, lodge it in here, pry it out and push it out. I try my best not to damage it. It looks like I kind of stretched the E-clip out too much, but looks like they gave us a replacement E-clip so you don't have to use the old one. All right, I'm gonna try to remove the clutch pedal now. There's not much room to film down here, but we'll see how it turns out. I'll take this guy out. Pop this out. piece comes out along with the spring and there you go some of the earlier models only have the outer spring but my car is a later model 2013 so it has an inner spring as well it goes inside the outer spring So here we have the side-by-side -side comparison of the UCP versus the OEM pedal. The OEM pedal is on the top, UCP on the bottom. And as you can see here, the UCP is much more linear, has less of an S shape. And the OEM pedal is made out of plastic. It's very light, feels really flimsy versus the UCP is made out of metal and there's quite a lot more heft in it. Before installing the UCP we're going to transfer the rubber pedal pad from the old one. Also, the UCP comes with the hardware already installed inside the pedal, so we're going to have to remove it before installation. The UCP comes with three mounting points for the over center spring. The furthest one from the pedal is OEM equivalent, and the one closest to the pedal is the stiffest. Alright, so we're going to put in the new clutch pedal. Pretty much it's going to be reverse of removal. Bronze bushing is really tight. Well, when putting it in, you got to make sure that the slave cylinder is not in the way. Now we're going to install the new E-clip on the top pivot point of the pedal. There you go. There's a tip on the forum saying that you should install the over center spring first before uh, the shoulder bolt on the top. And they were absolutely right about that. Uh, so make sure you put in the spring first, otherwise it's going to be nearly impossible to install it afterwards. All right, so now we're going to install the upper shoulder bolt. And first, we got to line up the uh, master cylinder connection with the clutch pedal. Here's a view of the master cylinder. There's a hole in it, and you got to make sure that hole aligns with the hole in the clutch pedal. Once you get the shoulder bolt in, you can tighten it up with a 6mm Allen wrench and a 17mm socket. Now 
Next is to reinstall the lightweight spring. And here I am popping off the old clutch stop and putting in the new one. Once you're all done, put the kick panel back up and that's it guys. You got your UCP clutch pedal installed and just look at that. It's aligned with the brake pedal now. I set the over center spring to the middle position, but I'm going to give it a try over the next few days, test it out, and I'll let you guys know how it feels. So stay tuned for that.